Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Judy Morgan from Naturally Healthy Pets. My guest today is Tigger Montague. She is the owner of Biostar, which is a company that we really like, and she formulates all their products, and we'll look at those in a minute. She's an expert on equine nutrition and supplements with over 30 years experience as a writer, researcher, formulator, and author of Whole Foods for Horses, which I absolutely love. The daughter of a baker and the granddaughter of a dairyman, she has inherited the same passions as her family about real food. With over 30 years experience in the equine and human supplement industry, Tigger knows nutrition from the synthetic side as well as the whole food side. She started Biostar in 2006 with formulas she created in her kitchen. Before she started the company, she was an avid rider and competitor with eventing and show jumping until she got hooked on dressage in the late 1980s. A little less dangerous than the show jumping as we age. (laughs) She has competed on horses she's owned and trained all the way from training level to Grand Prix. Yeah, I used to do all that crazy stuff too, and now (laughs) I don't even get on a horse. Um, (laughs) So welcome, Tigger. And Tigger, uh, Biostar is one of the sponsors for our uh, international event, which is being held in Orlando in October. And we are very grateful for that. So some of the products that we have here in the Naturally Healthy Pets Warehouse, the Sun E, which is a vitamin E supplement made from non-GMO sunflowers, uh, sunflower oil. And there's also a horse size product of this. I use this every day for all of my dogs. We have the Symbiota Canine, which is a probiotic, and it's a liquid probiotic, which is really nice because sometimes our dogs aren't so thrilled about the powders in their food. They have the bovine colostrum in three different sizes. This is the middle one, but you can use this on horses, dogs, cats. It's amazing stuff. Integral K9 is an eggshell membrane collagen. There's also a second one that has salmon in it. And one of my favorite products, the Aller X equine. I use this on all of my donkeys, hinnies, and minis who get so itchy in the summer and they yeah. love this stuff. And they're, they're kind of mad when winter rolls around and I'm not putting it in the bowl. And they're like, it doesn't taste as good now. So <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for uh, being a sponsor of the event and for oh, being willing to, to do come so. on and have a conversation. So we want to talk about the um, difference in bioavailability of minerals in food because uh, one of the things that we here at Naturally Healthy Pets are always looking at with food labels is where is that nutrition coming from? Is it coming from whole foods? Is it coming from supplements? And I know, especially in the uh, canine world, this has been a huge problem with copper storage issues, liver problems, because of some of the vitamin mineral supplement packs that are being added to the food. And we don't know exactly how they're utilized or absorbed and the bioavailability and, and are we giving too much? Are we giving too little? So I'd love to hear your thoughts on these mineral supplements and the differences in where we're getting them. So minerals are um, near and dear to my heart, starting when I began my career on the human side. What is so interesting to me on a very basic level is the labeling for a human mineral product is 100% opposite than the labeling for an animal mineral product. So we talk about chelation. Really? Yeah, it's, it gets very confusing. So I'm gonna make it very simple. We talk about chelation. I don't think a lot of people understand what mineral chelation is. It's a process that plants and animals do when they intake raw minerals. And by raw minerals, in regards to a plant, when the plant is bringing minerals up through the soil, they are unusable. They are what we call inorganic minerals. That's not a farming term, that's a a chemical term. What the plant has to do in order to utilize those minerals is bind to free amino acids. So you have a mineral molecule in the plant, the plant finds free amino acids and chelates. In other words, forms a cage around that mineral. Now the mineral is organic. It's called a mineral chelate. Now the plant can use it. When you see on a label calcium carbonate, that is an inorganic mineral. That is ground up rock. 
a plant can't use it, an animal can't use it, <laughs> and a human can't use it. Magnesium oxide is another inorganic mineral. It These two minerals, and they're very, very important minerals, they are found in, an, in their inorganic form in most foods for dogs that are processed and many, many supplements. So the good news is, hey, we have chelation, but you have to understand the differences of chelation. I hope I'm not talking too much. No, this is great. On the human side, the highest, the highest standard of mineral chelates is an amino acid chelate. It means it has eight bonds. It's a full cage. So this is, my fist is going to be the mineral and an amino acid chelate is a full cage chelate. In animal nutrition, it's the opposite. In animal nutrition, an amino acid chelate is a two-bonded chelate. In human nutrition, a protonate is another chelate, is a two-bond chelate. In animal nutrition, a protonate is a full eight-bond chelate. If you're a human and you go shopping for supplements... That's, that's and so you, weird that it's opposite. <laughs> It's totally opposite, and it's very confusing to customers. If you're used to taking an amino acid chelate sure. as a human, and then you go look for it for your dog, you're actually getting a lesser chelate. The bioavailability of amino acid chelates is unless about you buy 65%. the pro unless you have the proteinates. You have to have a proteinate okay. in, in animal nutrition for the eight full cage chelate process. That is very expensive. Few companies use protonates. Biostar just happens to be one that does. And we have our protonates made <laughs> by a human mineral supplement company that does only mineral chelates. So the things that other whole food companies on the human side, their minerals are the same minerals we use. Now, there's another way to get a good protonated chelate. And that's minerals that come from plants because they're already chelated. There can be sources of chelates from spirulina, from barley grass, from all these whole food plant sources. The plants already done the job. So you're getting a bioavailable mineral. Now, when you get into copper and zinc and some of the micro, macro, micro minerals, it gets a little dicey because you've got to have a chelate. Otherwise, I think one of the problems with copper in particular is that in its inorganic form, it's clogging the kidneys. The body is going to have to rob Peter, find the amino acids to bind to it in order to make it useful. For a lot of animals, especially if they are struggling already with another lack of wellness, uh, health challenges, that mineral lack of bioavailability is going to be a real challenge to the kidneys and the liver. So you want to make sure, absolutely, that especially the micro minerals are in some form chelated and in the good chelate, not a cheap chelate like a glucinate. You talk about the plants do that chelation for us. Yes. So one of the food, whole food sources that we use commonly for zinc is oysters. So yep. the zinc, are the oysters chelating that zinc? Yes. Okay, great. Yes. Yes, they are. Bone from, um, you know, cows is chelated because the cow had to process in order to make the bone, the calcium that it was eating from the plants that it had, <laughs> that had chelated it from the grass. So it's a really cool cycle. Okay. What you don't want is ground up rock which is carbonates and oxides. Right. And they're in a lot of products. They are, absolutely. So we have a couple of companies that use some proteinates to, you know, especially zinc proteinate because zinc is hard to, it, it's one of the hardest ones to get up to the level where we need it in uh, formulation. So I see zinc proteinate added a lot. And a lot of times that's the only mineral Protonate that's added foods. because they're able to get everything else that they need from the, from the plant food. sources. Yes. Um, but, you know, it's really, really good knowledge to have. You just broke that down into something so simple that I think anybody could understand. Why am I looking for a proteinate as that 
vitamin source when I'm looking at the food. And you're right, it is more expensive to do that. And that's why with mass manufactured, huge companies, particularly the very highly processed foods, um, yes. we'll talk about extruded kibble, they're always adding in these vitamin mineral mixes, but they're not adding in proteinates. They are adding no, in- No, they products. are not. <laughs> exactly. And they spray them on the pellet. You know, that, that premix that they use, it's a spray on. Ugh. It just, it just makes me shudder. Yeah. I actually uh, went and took the course on how to make, how to formulate and make food out at Kansas State University, but they were really teaching us how to formulate and make food in the most processed ways. So of doing course. the extrusion. So seeing all the steps that the food goes through and how many times it's cooked at high heat and dehydrated and processed and it's it's pretty bad. It's it and then when them, <laughs> no then when they have that. those those presses that pummel it, that just beat it to to smithereens so it turns into a slime. I mean I, I think if if consumers <laughs> saw what it looked like before it became a nice little nugget, they would really reconsider uh, <laughs> processed foods for themselves and their animals. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't we can, we can't get videos inside those plants because they don't want anybody to see what's <laughs> <No>. going on. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a really great. It's, book. it's really interesting because the the times when I where, the, where you will find videos on how it's made is if you look at the manufacturers of the machinery that makes it. Oh, they want yeah, to show their machines in use, like the ones that sell the big magnets that pull all the metal fragments out. So there's that's where you can go. I'll have to go on YouTube and find some of those because that's where I've seen a lot of the videos. I've seen it in person as well, but a lot of the videos that actually show it, if you look up that's the machinery, a really good idea. the companies that are selling machinery to make the processed food. Yeah, that's where you can see it. There's a great book about it. Which is? Pandora's Lunchbox. And this investigative Ooh. reporter went Not underground. Right to, it's so good. It's really good. She goes in and describes the process. Then she went into the fragrance companies because they're as culpable as anybody <laughs> to make the flavorings. Artificial yeah. natural flavorings come from perfume companies. It's, it's really quite amazing. Yeah. It, it is amazing what some of those are made from, but uh, yeah. anyway, well, this has been an interesting conversation, uh, <laughs> uh, but I love you. I love your description of the minerals. And so if we want bioavailable minerals, we want minerals that have been processed by the plants, processed by the animals, or if we have to add them in, we want to be looking for proteinates. And uh, I think that is a great takeaway for people to understand. Um, we are so appreciative of everything that you do at Biostar. I, oh, like I said, I love you. your products. I use all of them. <laughs> so, and I've got a warehouse with hundreds of products in it, so I can't <laughs> use them all. Uh, but I have used all of these and I, I use them quite commonly. Um, I use, and I was saying before we got started, but some of these things like the colostrum and the eggshell membrane, I'll put those powders in my frozen treats that I make and add bone broth to them. Uh, so my, my this. dogs are getting goodies that they don't even realize they're getting such good stuff. So it's amazing. And <laughs> I really appreciate what you do. Um, and like I said, my, my, uh, my equines think this is the best stuff in the world. So I go through it really fast because I've got seven of them on it. <laughs> Oh, yes, you can we do. make a bigger container? <laughs> you can get it in bulk. Oh, there you go. That would be awesome. Send me a 50 pound bag. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Uh, we we are so appreciative of your support uh, for the International uh, Naturally Healthy Pets Experience by All Provide that will be held in Orlando, October 12th and 13th. For anyone who has not gotten a ticket, we still have virtual tickets and general admission. Great. I can't wait. So we will see you in October. And yes. thank you so much for everything that you do. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Judy.